hi guys in this video we're gonna see how can we handle asynchronous handling state management so in here as we have uh, used this middleware redux tongue into our store.js in here as a middleware so we're gonna see in code how can we use this tongue middleware in here so basically the tongue we are going to use for handling asynchronous process like fetching data from another server. So in this project in our Insta app, we have this fits.js which have this uh, fetching the data from this link and also in the suggestions, we have this link for fetching users data. So actually asynchronous pro process why it is called asynchronous process because it will not happen at the same time point of time so that's why it will take time to happen or get some response from a server so for handling this type of process this tank middleware comes we can also try without using any other middleware we can use ourselves but uh, Actually, the process is to handle using tongue. So let's try this. So in our Redux, in Accent, we're going to create a new file. And the name of the file will be fetch, fetch fits. You can give any name that you want. Now what happens that whenever you fetch something from a server, it maybe actually success we will get the data but sometime we got like we will not get the data so at that point of time we have to make cases for that part like if you fail you will not get the data and if you got success you will get the data so first of all it will start fetching so we're gonna create a fetching part first like uh, fetch fits start now in our fetch fit fits start what we got we got only type that you can say we are not sending anything in here so it's the starting point you can say that our fits will start fetching now if we got success like we got some data so what happens that fetch fits success will be dispersed with the action now the data we will get is a payload and we'll again have a type that we're gonna see in our reducer right so that's why we're gonna also create a type of it and use the payload name in here now if our data is not fetched it means that we got fetch fits uh, failure so if it's the case that it we will not get the data we will get an error and the error will have a type of this and it will go to the reducer it will have some logic in there uh, that we're gonna write in there so this also have its type or fetch fits failure and we will get the error in here so i can write payload and we got this error now this part's done but uh, how we're gonna uh, dispress the action in here so actually when you're gonna click or when you're gonna fetch any data or you're gonna write in our fits.js the dispatch action in here for that part you have to call any function that you want to call in here so for now i am giving the name is fetch fits async because it's an asynchronous process so we're gonna write like this now in here what happens that it is a function but what happens that it returns 
a function again that we have talked about right like uh, we have seen our in our uh, where you can say in our login dot login dot js we have seen this type of things like uh, we got this this patch as an argument in here which tags as a parameter of a function now what happens in here that this fetch fits async will return a function you know it returns a function which again will call the function so it's basically very like uh, like a uh, very highway <laughs> to tell what i am telling here so just uh, search in the stack overflow you will get the uh, overview of this higher order function you can type in it in the browser and you can search for it now in here we're gonna write all the logic that we're gonna see in here okay so what happened that we got this dispatch now in here we're gonna dispatch this all uh, fetch fits start and if you got success we're gonna fetch fits success or failure if you didn't get the data so first of all we're gonna dispatch with a start right we're gonna start our fetching so that's why we're gonna write like this fetch fit start now again i'm going to fetch like uh, async await promise now for that you have to write here async so such that we can use async await syntax in here now in here i'm just gonna copy this line of code because this is what we need in here so i'm just cop going to copy it in here and just pasting in here now what happens that we got the data right in here you can see that okay we have used in a fetch okay uh okay just use the fetch okay yeah now what happens again we got the data by using await response.json right we got the data now we got the data now it means that we have a success we can dispatch this function right so for that purpose we can write in here dispatch patch fits success it's happening okay the spelling is wrong in here so just i'm going to correct it now if we just uh, pass the parameter that is data now if we didn't get the data it means we got the failure right so that per for that purpose what we're gonna do we're gonna run fetch fits failure and e dot message the method that we're gonna pass so this is all about the action that we're gonna build for the asynchronous process right now this is the part of action but we haven't talk about the reducer part right so in here i'm going to create a new file again and the file name is fetch fits reducer right and in here what are the uh init state means what are the state that we're gonna uh, use here the first state will be the data and it will again it will be first of all null and we got also error because if there is an error then the payload will be here and also we got this loading right because it will not load at the same time at first it will be false because we haven't started dispatching these actions in here so let's write in here and you will understand what i'm talking about in here so export const fetch fits reducer you can type in here and the uh, state that we're gonna use and the action that we're gonna use and 
Again, we're gonna use this switch case for switching the type that you're gonna see in here. Now in here, the type that we're gonna see is H case, all are in capital, right? So fetch fits start. Now, first of all, what happens in here in our fetch fits start is that we're gonna start uh, fetching the data. So it means like uh, loading is to be true, right? Because we have started loading to be true. Now I am just going to use default case to be return state. Now in here, the cases, again, there are two cases that have left. The uh, second case we're gonna see is fetch fit success. Now what happens in success that uh, we have to return and spread the state in here and the loading is to be false, right? Because we have fetched the data, so we don't need uh, loading to be true. And again, we got the data, right? Because if the success we got, we got the payload. And yeah, that's it. And in here, our fetch fits failure. What we got is that, okay, just a sec. Yeah. Now in here, we're gonna return the state again but the loading is to be also false because we have got some data from the server, whether it is success or failure, but we got the data and we got at this time of time, we got uh, an error. So we're gonna dispatch the action of it and we got the payload in here. So now this part is also done, reducer part is also done. Now in our store, we have to use so we have talked about command reducer, right? That whenever you have to combine, means you have more than one reducer, you can use this function of react uh, for Redux. So what we need in here, we need fits, and we have to use fetch fits reducer. So this is done. Now only one thing is to do is to dispatch the action that we're gonna run in here. So again, we're going to use this connect keyword in here. So in our connect, first argument will be, uh, we'll have a data. So first argument to be map stat, map stat to props. And second argument is to be map dispatch to props such that we can dispatch some action. Now in here, I'm going to write, first of all, map dispatch to props. So we're gonna dispatch some action in here. And we're gonna return an object in the key, key name that you wanna give, that you gave, like fetch fits, you can see. Now in here, you're gonna give the URL, right? No, we don't have to give the URL in here. So you can give. So that says that we don't have to write in here, but I have just given it here. So we, I don't have to write in here. So I'm going to dispatch an action in here. So what we're gonna dispatch in here. So we're gonna dispatch this fetch fits async such that we will get, we will, we are going to dispatch these three uh, actions in here. So basically this is what I'm, I'm doing. And in here, first thing is done. Now, again, we're gonna get the data. So map state to props. We got the data from fits. And in the fits, we got this data. I am not using the payload, the loading one and error one, but you can use if you want to. Now in here, we got the data, right? We got the data. Now we don't need to do this state also. We need this async first of all. Uh, we also don't need this async of course. So we can remove this part also. 
and in here we're gonna just this dot props dot fetch fits this is what we're gonna just call in here and we also don't need this part okay so we can just type in here fits is to data so this will look good and in here just we have to type in here the props and now if we just save it and if we just type in here we will see in the action or uh, we will see in the ui that we will get the data in here you can see in here and actually there is one more point that i am going to so that we don't have to check in here that if it's we got the data or not if it is null then it, it will not render this file and so this is, so i'm going to show in here so i'm just going to remove it and if we just save it here and again i'm going to test it and if i am yeah so we got the data as you can see that we got the data we don't have to check for fits that it is null or not so this is how this thunk uh, thunk middleware uh, used in our redux and uh, react code now one thing also to do this is the suggestions part and uh, we are going to we are going to do the same thing and so and so you can do on uh, do your own but uh, i can also so in so in the next video that's all thanks